Well, it's Wednesday, right? Time to talk about what's going out in some mainstream mystery boxes this week. And I want to also open up my own. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Now, on this channel, I talk about comic books. I show you guys what I buy. I do overviews. We do omnibus hauls. We do giveaways. We do all sorts of stuff. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button. Then hit the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I post new videos. Now, today, of course, is Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, I put out one of my favorite series. This is called What Could Be in the Box. Now, this series is done in collaboration with... Mainstream Comics. Now, they are a company based in Las Vegas, Nevada that specializes in comic book mystery boxes. So, on this show, I get to open up my own mystery box to show you what came inside, but then I also get to give you a sneak peek of some items that might be going out in your mystery box if you order between now and next Wednesday. So, there is no shortage of amazing things going out in these boxes. Uh, for those who are new, who are uninitiated, let me tell you exactly how these boxes work. So I'm sure you have ordered mystery boxes in the past where basically you pay 30, 40, 50 bucks, whatever, and you get a package in the mail. And what you're hoping for is that the books that you get in the mail are worth the 30, 40, or 50 bucks that you spent on them. What most people are looking for, though, is the grand prize, that GP, the, the, the one amazing book above all amazing books. It's probably a slab. It's probably signed. It's something super rare. It's probably worth hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, right? But that mysterious, you know, <laughs> elusive book only goes to one person. You have no idea who that person is. So mainstream comics comes in to disrupt all of that. And they are the only mystery box company with a theme. So you have a general idea of what you're going to be getting before you check out, which is very cool. Very cool. So let's go ahead and run down what types of books come in each mainstream mystery box. So each box comes with a number one comic, a variant cover comic, a premium artist cover, uh, a new release book. So that's a book from any time in the last eight weeks. Um, a reader comic, which is a book just to get you into a good story. You know, you don't have to worry about collectability. We're here to read comics, admire the art, admire the dialogue, and just have fun, right? Uh, you get a flashback book. That could be a book from the 70s, 80s, or 90s. They're picked at random. They're always pretty interesting, too. Um, and then you can get a Lucky Ducky, right? Now, a Lucky Ducky might be a ratio variant. It might be some sort of retailer exclusive cover. Um, it could be another premium artist cover. Uh, it might be a trade paperback. Um, I've seen all sorts of things as Lucky Duckies, art prints, all sorts of things. Just something to get that value of, something that everybody else doesn't get. In fact, out of every 250 mainstream mystery boxes, only 60 have Lucky Duckies inside. So if you get one, you actually are a pretty Lucky Ducky. Now, if you don't get a Lucky Ducky in your mainstream mystery box, no worries. You get a second new release. So another new book from any time in the last eight weeks of releases. So very cool. And it's almost always something that's just going to get you into a great story and get you started so you're not going to be lost in the storyline. So that's always dope. Now, if that was all the mainstream mystery boxes came with, that'd be pretty cool, but it's not. So every mainstream mystery box also comes with an art print. Yes, a one of a kind commissioned art print by one of two artists. So all 250 mainstream mystery boxes come with an art print by Ben Ruzica. This month, the Ben Ruzica art print is this beautiful print of Jubilee our favorite mall rat from the X-Men. I love that yellow raincoat. Who wears short sleeve coats? But anyway, it's super dope and Jubilee rocks it like only she can, right? Now, if you're a mainstream OG, which is someone who's placed at least 10 orders in the past for mainstream mystery boxes, well then you get this exclusive signed print, which is limited to 60 prints, right? So the first... 60 mainstream OGs to order a mainstream mystery box, get this print. Now, like I said, it's also a Jubilee, and it's signed by the artist Frank Kadar. Very dope. That's actually my favorite print 
for this month's round. They definitely flipped back and forth because last month I loved that bullseye print. But anyway, every mainstream mystery box comes with those two art prints or one of those two art prints. And then every mainstream mystery box gets you a golden ticket. What the heck is a golden ticket? Well, it's the only way you're eligible to win a golden ducky. Okay, the golden ducky. Let's stop burying the lead. A golden ducky is a so or a slabbed book. It could be CBCS. It could be CGC. Um, it can be signed. It could be something really exclusive. It could be something that just looks really cool in a slab. But anyway, it's one of eight books every single month. So I'll go ahead and flash them up on the screen. This month, the prizes are insane. The one I'm after is that first appearance of Jubilee in X-Men 244. Double signed. It's signed by Chris Claremont and Mark Silvestri. Uh, there's a Batman 666, the first appearance of Damian Wayne as Batman. There's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number five, an early issue from uh, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird's original run. There's a lot of really cool things going down on this mystery wheel. How are you eligible? Well, anytime you order a mainstream mystery box, your order number gets placed on that wheel. If you order more than more than one, then you get more than one entry on the wheel. And on the last Wednesday of every month, this month, that is April 28th, then you can go on the Mainstream Comics Facebook page and watch the live stream where all of the winners are decided. So you can see if you won, and even if you didn't win, you can see exactly who did. And that is the difference between Mainstream and all these other people, because you have no idea who the winner is on a lot of these other pages. So... That's very cool. Now, I've told you a bunch about what's going in these, or could be in the boxes, right? What types of items go in these boxes. But let's talk about what items are specifically going out, right? So I talked about what types of books come out. There's variant covers and ratio variants and all sorts of stuff, right? Well, let's talk about some ratio variants that are coming out this week that you might see in one of your boxes, right? So the first one, I know there's a lot of heat around this Kanto series. I've never even heard it. I mean, I don't, I've heard of Kanto, but I don't know much about it. I, just, I know it's somehow related to the Ninja Turtles or something. I don't know. But there's a bunch of hype since they just announced another series around it. So unless you wanted to go out and get a Kanto number one for a bunch of ridiculous amounts of dollars, right? Well, there's a new mini series starting. This is called Kanto City of Giants. And this issue number one, this ratio variant is a one in 10 ratio variant done by Drew Zucker. And you might have the chance to win it. Looks very cool to me. And the fact that it's a one in 10 makes it even that more rare, that much more rare. So. You should definitely try your hand. Order a mainstream order a mainstream mystery box and you just might get it. Uh, this next book, uh, staying in that same Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles family, we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Jenica. Now, she had such a good run on her first miniseries that they gave her a second one. So this is TMNT Jenica 2, issue number 6. And once again, we've got a 1 in 10 variant cover. This one's by Nicole Go. And it looks dope. Jenica is a really good turtle in her own right. I know that people like me who grew up with just the four, you know, Renaissance brothers are like another turtle. What do you mean? Jenica's not a Renaissance painter. Well, Jenica's got these Wolverine style claws. She's really dope when it comes to fighting. She throws down just like the brothers do. And anyway, they've been giving her mini series to show just that. And those series are selling pretty well. So get the final issue in this series. If you order a mainstream mystery box and it happens to be inside, you'll get this one. You might have this one in 10 variant in your box. And that's really dope. Now, the last book I want to show off is not exactly a ratio variant, but it is a very recent issue. This is Aliens number one. And this is that David Finch cover. Now, you guys know David Finch is one of my favorite artists in comics. When he does covers, they're just always good. Right now, he's doing the Walking Dead Deluxe. He did a bunch of 1 in 50 ratios for Marvel. Um, he did the Miles Morales. He did, he's done a bunch of covers, right? And we know David Finch goes way back. But I love some of his more recent work as well. This Aliens cover, I know nothing about Xenomorphs, but I know that's a dope cover. It's just dope. So that's one of the books that might go out in your mainstream mystery box this week. So be on the lookout and see if you got it. Now, 
If you want a mainstream mystery box, you want to stick around to the end because I've definitely got a discount code for you if it's your first time. But enough about talking about what might be in your boxes. I want to see what was in mine. So let's go ahead and flip the view so I can open up my mainstream mystery box from last week. So in the words of Chuck D, once again, back is the incredible. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> we're back. I switched the camera view. So let's go ahead and open up this mainstream mystery box and see just what's inside it. So just in case you're not aware, mainstream mystery boxes always ship priority mail inside of a Gemini mailer. So there's no risk of like damages and stuff like that. Like, just good news to someone like me because I don't know if you guys have this issue, but my mail carrier loves to like just throw packages and like stuff them in mailboxes when they clearly don't fit. Like, she does a lot. She does a lot. I mean, I'm I'm thankful for her service and all that, and I get it. I order a lot of packages. I'm sure she looks at my house and is like, ah, oh, that guy again. But still, like, anyway, it's great when the sellers pack well, because you never know what's going to happen once it leaves your doorstep in the mail. Uh, so anyway, of course, I got to do some editing to get the uh, address off the screen. So. All right. Boom. So this is my golden ticket. It's really just a flyer letting me know that there's a golden ducky party going on. And I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm present. Now you don't have to be present. Well, hold on. Perhaps talking and unwrapping at the same time isn't smart. You don't have to be present to win any of these prizes, but all the fun's in watching the show. So there you go. You see this, and I'm gonna put it on the screen as well if I haven't already. Um, all the different prizes you just might win when you order your April Main Street Mystery Box. Now, let's do this. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. Boom, all right, I got a new release, which everybody gets at least one new release. Um, and if you don't, I mean, you get, yeah, you get at least one new release. So anyway, there's my new release at Spawn 316 featuring the Redeemer. That's his name on the cover. Very cool. Now, Cool, I got a variant cover comic. This is Crime Syndicate number two. Um, Crime Syndicate, the new series in the Infinite Frontier uh, from DC Comics. This is a Tyler Kirkham variant featuring Owl Man, which is like that Earth 2 version of uh, Batman. Very cool. And here we go, a number one comic. This number one is Shadow Man number one by Andy Diggle, Steve Segovia, and Ulysses. Ariola. That's an interesting last name. Um, I hadn't heard anything about this series, but it looks really interesting. So that's dope. Let's see what else we got. Okay, our premium artist cover. This is Old Man Hawkeye. Who did this cover? This is Old Man Hawkeye, number two, the D cover, third print. Ah, uh, it still doesn't say. It still doesn't say. So, we'll never know. <laughs> Next, we got our flashback book. It's a flashback from the 70s, 80s, or the 90s. Considering this is Kyle Rayner on the cover, I'm going to assume this book came from the 90s. But look at Kyle Rayner and Shazam. This is Green Lantern number 72, uh, part of the Hero Quest storyline. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Love that cover. What else we got? All right, so this is our reader comic for the week. We got Amazing Spider-Man number 598, uh, part of the American Sun storyline. That, that's some creepy stuff right there. <laughs> Written by Joe Kelly, uh, Mark Chichetto, a lot of people. That's cool. What else we got? Okay, so now, cool, it's time to look at our art prints. So I got the Ben Ruzica art print which you get in every mainstream mystery box, but because I'm a mainstream OG, and this was my first order of the month, I also got my mainstream OG art print by Frank Kadar. Honestly, I love both of these, but I think this time, I like the Frank Kadar a little bit better. I like how much she fills in the space. 
Plus, she looks a little bit more like what I remember from the animated series. But I love both of these Jubilee appearances. And I love that this one is signed. Very cool. Now, all right. So here we go. The last book up. I got a Lucky Ducky. Um, this is Spawn number 316. This is the Inks only variant. So it was done by Greg Capullo and Todd McFarlane. So very dope. You guys saw that was my new release, but I don't have to read this one. I can just read my new release, the regular A cover. So I got a Lucky Ducky this week. Now, if I hadn't gotten a Lucky Ducky, then I would have gotten just a second new release for the next cup for last uh for the week which means uh your new release could come from the last eight weeks technically but they're always very very recent i've noticed when i get new releases so very dope um i like this cover i like this cover a lot and i believe this would have been a one in five or one in ten ratio with the inks only so very cool uh, instead of having to pay over cover price at a local comic shop because, you know, those ratios can get expensive. I got it as part of my mainstream mystery box. Very dope. So, you've seen it. You've seen the art prints. You've seen the books. Like, all this is very dope. Very dope indeed. I think my favorite around this time is this crime syndicate cover by Tyler Kirkham. Love this. But yeah, so that's what I got inside my mainstream mystery box this week. Now, if you want to order a mainstream mystery box and you never have before... I can get you 15% off. All you got to do is use my coupon code, and that is BJKicksAPRIL. That'll save you 15% off your first April Mainstream Mystery Box. And uh, it'll let Mystery Dave know that I sent you. So definitely take him up on that offer. Get your 15% off, and you can get a bunch of cool books in the mail, too. And art prints. Who else is giving you art prints with your books? Just saying. But anyway, I hope you saw something you liked in this video. And if not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like, make sure you read what you buy, and be nice to others, because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.